inverted press floor. The inverted press is a progression that I like to use on the journey from push-ups to handstand push-ups. I find the inverted press on the P-bars is easier than the floor variation. In this variation, the head touches the floor when the elbows are at their weakest point in the press. Hence, it makes it harder to initiate the press up when you're starting in the weakest position. But this is also an excellent way to strengthen the weakness. Start in a downward dog position with the hands slightly wider than shoulder width. The legs are straight and the shoulder angle is open. The legs must remain straight for the entire set. Your hamstring mobility will dictate how close the feet are to the hands. The closer the feet are, the higher the hips will be and the harder the exercise becomes. The head and chest should be pushed towards the thighs and the ears are in line with the shoulders. A common mistake in the inverted press is failing to open the shoulders at the top of the rep. Do not be that guy. You want to push the head and chest towards your thighs to help open the shoulder angle. From the top, lean the shoulders forward before bending the elbows and taking the head down and forward. You want to load the shoulders before you load the elbows. Notice how the elbows stay vertically stacked above the wrists as the head moves forward and down to touch the floor. The forearms remain perpendicular to the floor as this is mechanically the strongest pressing position. As you take the head to the floor, your aim is to create a triangular shape with the hands and the head at each corner of the triangle. Once the top of the head lightly touches the floor, we extend the elbows and open the shoulders simultaneously to return to the top of the downward dog position, with the head and chest pushed towards the thighs. As you move up and down in the inverted press, keep the elbows tucked in by your sides and do not allow them to flare outwards. Perform the prescribed number of reps at the specified tempo. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.